Yes, fine. So, good morning, all. My name is, yeah, my name is Swami Nairam, teaching We technology is Angular, React, JavaScript, CSS, SCSS, these technologies. So, this is Angular question. So, in this, uh, session we are discussing the concepts of Angular. Today demonstration class, just I will give you some idea about this Angular, like what is Angular and which type of applications we can develop using Angular. These concepts we are going to discuss now. Before that, we need to discuss client server architecture okay so what is client and what is server so what is client says script those things we need to discuss so first of all Said we have two pages. One yes, is sir. designing. Next one, body. Yes. Yeah. So in designing phase, we are creating user interfaces. In the program, we are creating user interfaces. So what the technology they are using to create the user interfaces, HTML, CSS, and CSS, next level CSS, we have SCSS, SAS, like that, so those technologies, and uh, next one here, Bootstrap, like that, these are the technologies they are using, and body point of view, yeah, actually we have two types of scripting, one is client side, another one is server side scripts. Like that we have these two types of scripts. Yes. So what is the first one? Client side script and second one is server side script. So client side script means okay, it executes where inside the browser. Executes in browser. Server side script is executing in server. 
Yes. So in development point of view, we have client share scripts as well as server share scripts. So for example, Facebook is there or Google is there, any website. When we are downloading that website, when we are accessing that website, then what is happening? So that website, that website is downloading the client side code into our system, into our browser, and in our browser it is executing. Is it clear? Yes. But server side script is executing server, only result is downloading into our system. So, but client side script point of view, the original code, when we are accessing the website, that original client side script is downloading into our system, and there it is executing in our system with the help of browser, it is executing. So according to the execution locations, we are calling the scripts as client side scripts and server side scripts. That is the point. Is it clear? According to the execution location, we are calling the scripts as client side and server side scripts. Okay? Yes. Now, if you take what are the examples of the client side scripts? So earlier, programmers used to work with JavaScript. These days, next level technologies of JavaScript like Angular, React. Okay. So these are the technologies they are using. And uh, actually, server set coding is not our responsibility. Anyhow, what are the scriptings we are using? Means the programmers are using to work with server set logics. Yeah, those are nothing but here. Yeah, ASP, PHP, JSP, so let something we have and Node.js. I get different types of technologies we have to work with server side coding and to work with the client side coding we have JavaScript or next level technologies of JavaScript like Angular, React, etc. Okay. Anyhow, every website contains these two types of scriptings. One is client side script, another one is server side script. As a UI developer, we are implementing the logics in client side point of view and server side programmers, they are implementing the logics in server side point of view. So what is the technology we are using now to implement the client side code? So that is nothing but Angular. So what is Angular? Angular is nothing but so framework of JavaScript. Okay, Angular is framework of JavaScript. So it is providing the all features available in JavaScript. Additionally, more features it is providing. What are the additional features we have in this Angular compared with JavaScript, we will discuss. So first of all, you got some clarity in this point of view, yes. So what is Angular? It is client side script or server side script. Is it client side script or server side script? It is purely client side script. So client side scripts are executed where? In client system with the help of browsers. So we are using browsers to open the websites like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Google Chrome, like that these type of browsers we are using. Na? So every browser contains interpreters to execute the client set logics. Is it clear? Every browser contains the interpreters to execute the client set logics. That is the point of this. Okay? Yes. So if anybody in interviews, if anybody asks you the question, what is Angular? Simply you can say, Angular is the framework of JavaScript. What is that? Angular is the framework of JavaScript. So, it is... Okay. Yeah, JavaScript. Angular, all this comes under client side scripts. Okay. For example, for Java technology, if you take Java technology, so to work with the Java, we have different frameworks. Okay. Like Spring, Hibernate, like that, we have these frameworks. Okay. Frameworks uh, simplifying the logics of the technology and providing more enhanced. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Framework, if we take, framework is providing more enhanced features and it is one providing one structure to implement the logics. Okay, I will show you what the structure of Angular and what are the files we have, three different files everything we will discuss. Anyhow, to work with the client side coding in web applications, we are using this Angular. Okay, not only Angular, you can use any one of the client side scripts, but the popular one if you observe here, so Angular and React 
these two technologies playing important role in this software industries. We have few more technologies to work with the client side scheme. Those are nothing but Vue.js is there, Backbone.js, Vanilla.js, Knockout.js, and jQuery, like the different technologies we have. But right now, not right now, from past few years onwards, so companies working with these technologies, one is Angular, other one is React. These two technologies playing very important role in this client side development point. Is it clear? Yes. So, now, which type of operations we can do with client side schemes? And so, this question also frequently they are asking in interviews. So, I told you client side script is executing in browser. So, what we can do exactly with these client side scripts? Those points we need to discuss. Before that, any questions you have till now, we discuss some points. In these points, you have any questions you can ask me. So, you can ask me the questions by unmute your mic or type in the chat window. Yes, so what is client side script and what is server side script that uh, uh, some idea got? Yes, or no? Yeah, regarding that, do you have any questions? Okay, I guess no doubts. Fine. Now, if you take client side, yeah, where we are in this client side script, in which point of we are in this client side script? There are many uh, reasons to use the client side scripts. One is to apply dynamic functionalities on HTML. Yeah, the first point to work with this client side script is to apply the dynamic functionalities on HTML controls. Yeah. By default, HTML elements, okay. So here browser is providing some controls like text box button, radio button, like that we have these controls. We can also call them as elements, okay? So HTML elements we have. On these elements you want to apply dynamic functionality, then we are taking the support of client side script. So one example I will show you, then you will get more clear in this point of view. By default all HTML elements are static. Okay, static and dynamic. What the meaning of the static and dynamic? Static means those properties will not change at runtime. Dynamic means those properties will change at runtime. That is the difference between static and dynamic. Once again, I am telling to you the difference between static and dynamic. Static means those properties are not changing at runtime. Dynamic, those properties are changing at runtime. So one simple example I will show you. <coughs> I am creating one HTML file. The desktop. Demo dot HTML. So this is demo dot HTML. In this file, Generally, HTML elements were placed inside the body tag. We will explain this structure of document everything later. So, for your more clarity in dynamic point of view, I am creating this program. So, here in my desktop, I have images. One is mango.jpg is there, next one orange and apple.jpg. Like that, I have different images. My requirement is I want to show these images here. So, img source is equal to apple.jpc width is equal to 100 pixels. So this is what image which I am showing, that is apple.jpc. So this is image, displays image control and two properties I have given. The source is one property, SRC we are using to specify which image you want to display. And width also on property, width of that image control 100 pixels. Okay. So, what is our file name? Demo.html. This is our file name. So, that file we created on the desktop. Now, here, somewhere it is available. Now, you can see. This is the file which I created. So, demo.html file I created. Okay. Now, double click on this. <coughs> 
displays that app name is. Now that file is loaded into browser, right? And it is executing now, executed. So this is runtime. My requirement is, so I want to change some properties of this control and run tab. Like width I want to change, or SRC I want to change, or height I want to change. Is it possible? Not possible. By default, it is not possible to change the property set run time. Okay. So then with the support of JavaScript, it is possible. The support of JavaScript. Means JavaScript we are using to change the properties of controls at runtime. Okay, which controls? Yeah, browser controls, but HTML element properties we can change at runtime with the help of JavaScript. That is the point of this. So I will show you how to change one example here. Nothing is there. My requirement is when I click on this image control, so that app will I want to change as mango. So simply I'm writing some code. So don't try to understand this code now. I will discuss all these things in Angular. Okay, now simply I'm using one script that is JavaScript. We can also use Angular in this point of view, but Angular, so you don't know about that uh, Angular structure, everything. So when I discuss all these things, I will show you the same concept in Angular. So this is simple. What is the use of client says script we are discussing? That's why I am using this one. So now on click is equal to here I have given JavaScript. We can use JavaScript or Angular or React, just anything to change the property. So which property I'm changing? SRC property. What the default SRC we are given? Apple. That I'm changing as Mango when when I click on the control. Now if you observe this, refresh this browser, and if I click on this, now you can see at runtime we are able to change the source property not only source property want to change width can we change or not yes we can change that width property like that any property of any html element you want to change a runtime then we are taking the support of client side scripts these client side scripts we can use either javascript or next level technologies of javascript like angular or any other technology but these days i told you know Angular is having much opportunities and much openings. So many programmers are working with this Angular as well as React technologies. So that is the point, first point which we discussed here. So to apply dynamic functions and HTML functions. Second point, why we are using the client says this for the second point to validate input controls. So input controls are nothing but text box button, a radio button, these are all controls we have. So you want to validate them. For example, if text box is empty, you want to present the error message or password retail password not matching. So then you want to display one error message. Then also we are taking the support of JavaScript. Okay. Next one here to execute logics. So here, uh, logics you want to execute, you want to implement any logics, then also we are taking the support of these client set scripts here. So here I am asking you one question. You can implement the logics by using any one of these. Okay, coding I told you here, coding. Coding point of you can take the support of client set script as well as server set script. Okay, for example, one logic I want to write to work with some calculations or I want to implement one calculator program. In that calculator program, user will uh, click on the buttons like numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, after he click on the operations like plus minus, I want to show the result. That program I want to implement. So that is coding. That coding we can do by using either client cell script or server cell script. Now, which one is benefit? Okay, that we need to discuss. For example, if we implement that coding client side script, where it is executing client system or server mission. So if I implement that logic using client side script, it is executing client system only. Yes, with the help of browser. 
initially it is downloading into the browser there it is executing means when user click on this buttons okay numbers after that plus minus this buttons the code is running there only in the system that's why you can see the result very fast in case if the code is implemented in server side script for every operation the request is coming to the server there the code is executing after the response is coming back to the client system then only you can see the result that's why the result of the client side script is very faster than server side script results so due to this reason only most of the logics were implemented with client side script sir we code send a code sir in websites in which point of it they are using server side scripts to connect with the database of server so that time they are using server side scripts and to create that to handle the sessions and tokens in that point of they are using server side scripts so like there very few functionalities point of we are using server side script and most of the functionalities we are implementing with client side scripts only in web applications okay so that's why this client side coding is very very important and popular these days so why more uh, recruitments we have in this client side what the reason behind it because in every website around 60 to 70 percent is coding is client side coding that's the main reason okay and next one ajax concept is there i think some people may know about this ajax we will discuss this ajax concept completely here so we are using ajax to send the request to server okay without submitting the request so api services you want to call in that point of we are using ajax to work with this ajax also the client side script we are using so asynchronous javascript in excel okay, in that point of it is some kind of client side script like that this is the concept about client side script if anybody ask you so how what are the what are the functionalities you can do with client side script your answer will be this four steps of the client side script okay to apply the any functionalities and html functionalities and validation point of view and to execute logic in browser and to work with the ajax like the in that point of view is client side scripts all days they used to work with javascript but in companies these days they are using next level technologies in javascript like angular so what is angular it is nothing but the framework of javascript framework means it is providing one structure for us to implement the logics to implement the logics actually indirectly if you observe here so it is framework for type script as we are calling so generally this is the main point now slowly i'm uh, moving it to type script so here now come to the main point we have two things one is direct js sorry login also now one is now we are discussing one important concept here. mango db so angular js is there mango db so some people are thinking both are same but some people may have idea the difference between these two yeah i will tell you what the difference between these two i am not discussing the functional differences between these two now i will discuss that concept later just i am discussing what the major differences between these two yeah so angular js means that is the very beginning version they implemented this angular js packages by using javascript is it clear so version 1.1 1.0 1.1 1.2 okay these versions up to 1.6 we are calling as angular js so here this angular js uh, initially in 2010 they released it okay so in this angular js the functionality they implemented with the help of javascript but in 2016 they released 2.0 okay in 2016 around october month i guess i am not uh, sure about that so they released 2.0 so that 2.0 package they implemented by using this is clear and uh, that angular js that name they re removed this js here simply from version 2 onwards we are calling it as angular so if you take 2 3 4 5 6 
up to current 15 version okay and 16 packages also release these sir, versions we call it as angular so that's why here angular js is different angular is different angular js is the framework of javascript angular is the framework of typescript that's why here we need to place angular js is it clear so angular js means very beginning version that is 1.x series so that series package is they implemented with javascript from 2.0 onwards they use a typescript in coding point of view so those packages contains typescript here so there are many advantages we have typescript compared in javascript that's why they use a typescript so what are these advantages we'll discuss in next level so anyhow this is the major difference between angular js and angular now we have openings in companies with angular okay so every company is looking for angular so 11 version 12 13 14 these version they are looking yes and in programming point of view so angular js programming and angular programming similarities are not there entirely different program so in angular js we are using javascript code in angular we are using typescript code that is the main thing and a concepts point of view angular js angular supports common concepts we have concepts common concepts in this both angular js and angular like uh, data binding concept is there and next one single page application routing concept is there services concept like the common concepts additionally angular is providing more concepts compared with this angular js that difference also will discuss with you the differences between javascript and typescript we will discuss and what are the differences functional differences between angular js and angular so those things also we will discuss here anyhow here so angular js old version we don't use now in companies they are not using old version they are using angular so what is angular it is the framework of typescript is it clear so angular packages are implemented with typescript and angular js packages are implemented based on javascript that is the concept is it clear now who implemented this angular js and angular and who is maintaining these technologies yeah first of all here Visco Avery he is one of the programmers in google okay he is one of the programmers in google he implemented angular js in here Actually, in 2009 only they developed, but officially that open source uh, they released that uh, library to outside in 2010. So in this development, initially in this case, how is the main door and Adam Abrams is also one of the other programmers in Google. So these two persons involved and implemented this one, but major role is Mr. Abrams only. In 2010, he released this Angular JS. I told you initial version is Angular JS. It was Angular JS. After that, in 2016, I told you so they released another version that is Angular. From there, uh, 2.0. That is 2.0. After that, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Till now, that is Angular only. So 2 to 3 or 3 to 4, 4 to 5. Programming is same. Same style of programming. But more concept they added from one version to another version that is the update okay but in programming style point of view angular js and angular means 1.x and 2.x okay there are no similarities in programming point of view but the 2.0 to 3 4 5 6 all these versions programming style is similar only the difference is more features are added from one version to another version that is the concept okay yes now who is maintaining this angular the so google corporation okay so google corporation is maintaining this angular. and here typescript is also there it is angular is nothing but typescript coding internal i told you these packages they are providing many packages for us to work with the client set logics so those packages they implemented with typescript that typescript belongs to microsoft corporation so main city nothing but the combination of two big 
companies. One is Google, another one is Microsoft. Okay, so Angular belongs to Google, and inside this Angular, okay, the packages are implemented with TypeScript. That TypeScript belongs to Microsoft Corporation. So even if you want to use the packages of this Angular, we should know the concepts of TypeScript. So you may have one doubt in your mind. What are the prerequisites to learn this Angular? Yes, that is nothing but TypeScript. So that's why initially I'm discussing the concepts of TypeScript. So once TypeScript is completed, then only I will start the discussion of Angular framework and programming in Angular. So initially around we are spending so 15 to 20 days with this TypeScript. Okay. So that's why no need to learn this TypeScript separately. Here only I'm discussing with you. So once the TypeScript is completed, then only I will start the Angular concepts here. Okay. So this is the basic history. Once again, I'm repeating the points here. So Angular, if you observe here, what is Angular? Okay, it is the framework of TypeScript. What is Angular JS? It is the framework of JavaScript. So what are the differences between these two? Yes, Angular JS 1.x series we are calling as Angular JS. It was introduced in 2010. And in Angular JS, the packages they developed. That uh, I told you, Misko Havre and other team members they developed by using JavaScript. In 2016, so Angular is released. That version is beginning version is 2.0. In this Angular, they use a TypeScript. So that's why we are taking the support of TypeScript here. And from 2.2 to till now, okay, they are using TypeScript only. And for the versions also, they are following TypeScript. That is announcement from Google Corporation. And uh, we have many more advantages in TypeScript compared with JavaScript, like object-oriented programming support, data type support, like that we have different types of advantages. I will discuss those concepts later. So anyhow, this is the brief idea about this and the JSON and the is it clear? So it is completely client side script to work with the client side functionalities we are using this Angular. Yes. So this is the history of this Angular. So now you can ask me doubts from your side. So this course can be you believe what is what topic in TypeScript. Yeah, in TypeScript we are discussing the functions, okay, uh, variables. So object-oriented programming concepts, ECMAScript standards we are discussing, like arrow functions and let these type of concepts we are discussing here, and the namespaces, how to work with the namespaces, how to get the bundles, packages, like that. Okay, so how to create configuration files in TypeScript, all these topics we are discussing in TypeScript. Okay, so how to defend the classes. Okay, and the next one here, uh, how to work with this inheritance concept, interfaces, mainly interfaces, because data models we are creating in Angular projects, okay, in that point of we are taking the support of these interfaces, okay, and NPM packages, NPM libraries, how to download the NPM node package manager libraries, all these concepts we are discussing in TypeScript, okay, yes. Real-time projects and videos, yeah, you will get the uh, everyday class videos as well as material and database programs also I will upload into the drive. You can download those programs, you can go through these programs, okay? Yeah, here we are developing the mini application, not that uh, uh, real-time project. So real-time project is separate batch, okay? So we are developing the mini application with these concepts. And moreover, you want to attend the real-time project, definitely, definitely you should have idea on these concepts. Okay, so here, everything we are providing, so I'm not expecting questions in this point of you want the course duration and uh, will you provide the process. I'm expecting the questions in technical point of view. Till now, we discuss some points, okay? So in these points, any technical queries we have, so that I am expecting. Anyhow, these all questions I will discuss later. So what is the duration of this course and uh, uh, videos providing, okay, that information also I will provide you by end of the session. So till now we discuss some technical things here. Technical means the history point of view, everything. So there you have any doubts, you can ask me. Yes. 
No, no, no. Who told you Java knowledge? Actually, there is no relationship between Java and JavaScript. Uh, no relationship between Java and Angular. So here, Angular is the common client set script for any server set script. For example, in your project, server set script you can use Java, okay? Or I mean, Java means JSP servlets like that, or PHP, or Node.js, or any other Python, okay? Or any other technology. But front end point of view, Angular is common for this all day. So here, JavaScript TypeScript knowledge is required for you. okay. TypeScript knowledge is required. What is TypeScript superset of JavaScript? That's why at the time of TypeScript discussion, almost all JavaScript concepts will be covered. So that we will discuss. Is it clear? Yes. So real time project means first you should know about the Angular concepts. Okay. So then only you are eligible to join the real-time project. If already know the Angular concepts, then directly you can join with the real-time project. No need to come to this batch. But if you don't know the Angular concepts, then you must attend this one. Okay? Yes. Now we are discussing uh, the advantages of Angular compared with Java. So if you take both Angular and AngularJS, okay? So features we are discussing, mm -hmm. common features which we have. And uh, those features we are comparing mm -hmm. with the JavaScript. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those features we are comparing mm -hmm. with the JavaScript. So already I told you we have JavaScript mm -hmm. to work with client set script. Then why people are working with the next level technologies like Angular mm -hmm. to work with client set script? What are the features we have? So what are missing in JavaScript? Mm -hmm. Those things we are mm -hmm. going to discuss. First of all, here supports data binding. Yes. So Angular supports Angular and Angular JS both if you take support the data binding concept. So what is data binding? Yes, I will tell you that in the diagram. For example, we have one variable. Variables you know. If you don't know, I will explain. So one variable we have. Variable name is serial number values. Generally, variables we are using to store some values in our programming. We are storing some information in the form of variables. Now, this is one variable. That variable value I want to print on the test box. Okay, this is one test box. Now, we need to execute some code. Okay, yes, here, just we are writing some code. So, in this code, read this variable value, call that variable value and display on the test box. So, generally in JavaScript, I think you may have idea on this document.get element by date, these type of functions are there. But when you come to the Angular, we are using data binding concept. Okay. Now, here, generally what happens in JavaScript, so we are calling the variable value and displaying here. Now, my requirement is if this variable is modified from other locations, okay, for example, 100 is changing as 200. So then immediately those modifications should affect directly affect on this test box. But it is not possible in JavaScript. So if you want to get the modifications again, read that variable value with the help of this code and display here. Means this is somewhat pathetic work to the programmer every time. So reading that variable and display on the HTML controls. Okay. So for that, this Angular is coming with one mechanism that is nothing but data binding. What is data binding? I think is that data means variable that we are binding with on HTML control. What the benefit of this data binding here? Yes, whenever this variable value is modified, for example, it is updated to 200 then you need not execute any code here because you have given this binding. So that's why here, no need to execute any code. Without execution of this code, those modification directly we are getting in this test box control. Is it clear? So as a programmer, you need not worry about how to present the data, okay, if it is updated or modified or deleted. So because data binding is taking care about all these things. Just your role is create a link between this variable and this control. So for that in Angular we are using ng model. These type of directives we are using here. I will discuss those directives later. 
So like that here, angles of force, this data binding concept, very, very important for us. Just I have given one idea, we will discuss programs about this. So two types of data bindings we have, one-way data binding and two-way data binding. So one-way means variable modifications will affect on the output control, that is HTML control. Two-way means reverse. For example, if you modify this HTML control, in this test box, if you modify this value as 600, the variable also is updated with that value. Like that, these two types of data binding support we have this angle. But if you take React.js, the React.js, we have only one-way data binding support. For two-way, we are implementing the logics manually. But in Angular, both are available. Is it clear? Anyhow, this is the data binding concept. So I will show the programs based on this. So this is very important feature for us. It is not available in JavaScript. Second one. Supports single page applications. Very big advantage of this. Angular is nothing but single page application concept. Okay. So this is one of the main feature. So we can also call it as routing concept. Yes. Around we are spending one week days. Okay. Minimum seven sessions we are spending with this routing concept. In this point of view, we are discussing authentication, authorization, login, logout, these type of mechanisms we are using. Router guards. Okay. And next one here in shopping cart applications, if you observe, if we click on one product, so the product related information page it is navigating and display the uh, complete information about the project or sorry product so how it is working these type of concepts we are covering this routing concept so that is called a single page application so one simple overview i am giving you about this okay so what is exactly this routing for example you are developing one website that website you deploy in the server Okay, I will show you how to deploy the Angular application server, everything. So once you deploy the server, okay, so that website contains many components, means many pages, like home, about us, contact us, like that, okay. So for example, this is home page. Next one, this is about us. And next one, this is contact us, like that we have different pages now some access time to access to the internet your website okay you will type the url address of your website then initially you are sending home page means your server is sending home page into the system so then for remaining pages as a programmer you are providing hyperlinks like about contact like that what are the other pages we have those hyperlinks so what happens if user click on about does one more request is going to the server okay and it is calling the about us page if it is content as hyperlink the request is going to the server and calling the content as page means in this scenario every time the request is going to the server okay so for that it is taking some time user need to wait uh, to get the next page so that's why they introduced one concept that is single page application concept. We can also call it as routing concept. What the benefit of this routing concept? So if you take this routing concept, first of all, all these pages we are binding as one object, router object. Is it clear? Now if user is sending the first request, okay, if user is sending the first request, what is happening? All these objects related components what are the components we have pages home about us contact us all this information is downloaded into the client system like that is home about us contact us later if client click on the about us then the data is coming from the system contact us the data is coming from the system this concept we are calling as single page application means only one browser we need not refresh every time only that single open window in that window only we can show the next pages information so that time no need to send the request to the server means it reduces the network traffic on the server and increases the performance of our application so this is about the single page application which is supporting here so i told you that this concept is very important and we are spending many days for this concept so at that time i will discuss 
how to work with the router guards and role based routing so manager has to access some pages administrator has to access okay all pages this type of restrictions also we are providing here okay next one here supports many validation concepts yeah very important so here validation is the main role in this client cell script so javascript we can use for validations but in javascript logics we are writing manually in react.js if you observe here it is providing template driven forms and reactive forms these type of concepts even angular js also same concepts are available here so that's why here in this angular we are taking the support of template driven forms as well as reactive forms to validate the concepts is it clear so angular point of view this validation is very very flexible compared to react okay because it is supporting direct data binding that's why in validation point of it is very flexible so further we are taking the support of template driven forms as well as reactive forms okay next one so come to the next point angular supports many services yes services we are using in functional point of view so for example if you take ajax Uh, to work with the ajax in javascript we need to write number of line statement but when you are coming to this angular in this angular we are using in this angular we are using so http client object okay that client object is very simplified code so we can directly connect with that uh, external services or api services like that so these services many services are available in this angular to work with the functional point of views okay next one supports okay so many libraries different types of libraries we have here so if you take this angular so angular is supporting some third party libraries to display the data for example i want to display the data in grid view or table view or tree view like the different views i want to present so that's why in that point of view we can take the support of third party libraries different types of library support we have in this point of view. okay so next one here simple so compare with the javascript coding is very very simple in this angular it is very very simple coding compared to javascript next one angular supports material design controls yeah different types of material design controls we have in this angular so you want to display the material design text box or material design button or table like that you have different types of material design controls i will explain you how to work with this material design controls all these things so that support is available actually generally we are using bootstrap in old days programmers or designers used to work with bootstrap to display the material design controls but now angular itself is providing many built in material design controls so normal controls if you take html text box button radio button so these controls and material design controls what the difference between these two the look and feel is very great in this material design controls okay and moreover some additional functionalities are available in this material design controls that is the main advantage okay next one here we can create a responsive web pages so responsive web pages means is this functional if you observe here functional of this angular application is supporting so desktop i mean our laptops extra mobiles tabs everywhere the functionality is similar the functionality will not change that type of responsiveness is there so it is somewhat missing in javascript so some functionalities will not work in the mobile if you use the javascript and some functional is not supported in the tab but in angular point of view each and every functional is supporting all these devices that's why we need not worry about the devices which is using by user to open our web applications okay 
So that is the main advantage. Okay. Next one here supports MVC and MVV patterns, including model view controlling. So I will discuss with you later what is that MVC and MVV and the controller base. Actually, these are design patterns. We are calling them as design patterns. These design patterns we are using for reusability of coding point of in that point of view, the design patterns. So JavaScript is not supporting these type of patterns, but this Angular is supporting these patterns. Okay. So these are the major advantages which we have in this Angular. If we compare with the JavaScript, main advantage is simple coding and uh, different types of design patterns and predefined material design controls and predefined validation related libraries are there and uh, many filters are available so we can call them as pipes okay so filters are available here so we can call them as pipes also so for example the so number is there that number you want to convert into dollar or euro and rupees so for that we are using filters like that date formats conversion so for that we are using filters like that many predefined filters are available here we can also call them as pipes okay in angular js we are calling as filters in angular we are calling as pipes like that data binding concept is there single page application so many features are available and if you take routing concept the routing so many various concepts are available in this routing to work with that web application is to develop the web applications okay so we are discussing all these concepts these are not possible in javascript and to achieve these concepts we have we have to write many lines of coding and moreover not possible to implement the data binding single page these type of concepts okay so for example you want to work with the ajax so in angular we are using services now in javascript we are taking the support of different uh, functions are available here apis we are calling so but coding is very used coding okay like that here these are the main advantages we have in this angular that's why these companies they are preferring this angular instead of javascript but the prerequisite is to learn this angular is typescript okay so already i told you first time discussing the types of concepts so once it is clear or completed then only we will go for the angular concepts here total duration is minimum 60 days minimum core duration is 60 days sometimes it is extending to 10 more days like that so don't expect course will be closed within 45 days okay and content course content is available in that uh, friend desk with the soft okay you can ask them they will send you the course content we will cover all those topics which we have the content and here we are discussing the project basic concepts only and mini project i will provide to you not the real time project real time project means that is separate batch which takes four months like that so here we are discussing mini project based on the concepts which we cover and uh, we are providing the video sessions videos every day recording videos i will upload into the google drive so next one everyday programs also i am uploading into the google drive along with the class notes okay you can download those things so this is the pattern which we are following here and this is the basic information about the angular which i provided in this demonstration class i guess you people are comfort with this uh, uh concepts ideas okay and programming pointer slowly will start one by one okay yes fine now you can ask me the questions which we have in your mind yes yeah so real time project uh, to start the real time project now it is not a decided okay so that's why so you need to wait for that because uh, just some plannings in project point of we are changing so that's why it is not yet confirmed okay yes so you know, just drop your number in that uh, friend office they will inform you 
when the project is starting. Next, sir. Sir, I yeah. have a question. I have. I don't yeah. have a previous yeah. knowledge yeah. of uh, HTML and uh, CSS. Yeah. Is it, is it okay? yeah. HTML overview, I will give you. Okay. As well as some concepts in CSS, I will give you. But you people uh, must concentrate on the coding point of view. You are UA developers, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's why here, so uh, the TypeScript and Angular is very, very important for you. And HTML, CSS, I will give you some clarity. You know, with that clarity, if you go with that, uh, some websites, you can easily understand the remaining concepts of CSS. Is it clear? Yeah, okay. Basic and idea sir, I will give you. Yeah. Sir, how, how will you get a practical support? Sir, I told you now, every day I am explaining the programs here itself. Those programs I will upload in the server. You can download and practice those programs. If you get any queries, you can ask me in the next class only itself. Okay? okay. So, I will you. give you much time for the doubts. Yeah. Okay? Next. Mm, sir, will you provide any material regarding Yeah, I told you. I will provide you soft copy of programs <laughs> as well as material notes also, along with video sessions. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah everyone is asking some material you are providing all this. Yeah, we will discuss that integration with MongoDB uh, at the time of server-side interaction. With Node APIs, I will explain you how to call the Node APIs. And that time we are connected with the MongoDB, and uh, I will explain you how to fetch the data and display the data in the Angular application and apply the CRUD operations. Okay, update, delete these functions, how to implement in Angular application. These all things we are discussing here. Okay. Sir, uh, while integrating with the API and MongoDB, will you discuss uh, how to debug from Angular to API? Yes. Okay. Not only that time, initially only by how to put the debugger and Google Chrome debugger, how to add. And uh, with browser also, debugger option is there, not? How to use the browser debugger? These three we are discussing. Oh, okay. In Visual Studio Code, we can add the Google Chrome debugger. Yeah. Or in our program, we can use debugger, that keyword. Yeah. Or in browser also, browser dev tools is the developer tools. There also debugger is available. So yeah. That is also a issue. Yeah. Next. You show how to integrate. Yeah, I, I told you at that point, MongoDB integration. That time I will give you idea about MongoDB and also some part of Node.js we are discussing here because API APIs I will discuss with Node.js. So that time I will discuss the Node.js uh, concepts. If you know Java.net, you can replace that Node.js with Java.net technologies. Next. Uh, sir, actually I know MongoDB and uh, I know how to write the queries in MongoDB and uh, I know how to write the APIs in Node.js. Okay, but uh, my goal is uh, to become a mean stack developer. So yeah. if, I, if I learn this Angular course, so I can become a lean mean stack developer, right? Yeah, no, you know, no, mean means mean means what the full form mean MongoDB. I'm okay. stands for MongoDB, E for ExpressJS, A for Angular, and yeah. N for Node. Yes. So Express is nothing but the framework of Node.js. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So compulsory, you want to become as mean stack. You require Angular because already know Node and yes. Express, right? Yes. yes, yes. Yeah, MongoDB also. So yes. definitely you can upload your resume as MinStack developer. So if you know only Angular, then you can upload your resume as UA developer. So apart from this Angular course, uh, I have to learn uh, HTML, CSS, I mean uh, UI design. Yeah, that is very simple learning. Yeah. Right? So you can learn through. Uh, some website references also okay, for HTML and CSS. Got it. Anyhow, brief idea I will give you HTML and CSS point of view here because we are working with uh, CSS interaction bootstrap. Also, I will explain to you how to use that 
and pay municipal boost step how did you get the boost step how do you the boost step classes that time i will give you the idea about this html css boost step so with that idea remind you can enhance by going through any reference websites okay yeah we are discussing in material design point of view also we are using css styles everything okay yes. next any more queries ya clear shake azan shobha vinay ramesh all of you got some idea what is this angular and what we can do yes sir. future with this angular yes 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 i will i will also show you yeah, about the figma files from figma files how to create the applications with the live project only okay so in which project i am working in my company so that project i will show you okay and uh, that uh, figma files how to create and how to write the logics in that ts files okay typescript files those things also we'll discuss see okay. yeah fine in tomorrow session we will discuss the next topic about this okay see next class every day our timings are so 8 to 9 initial starting four classes or five classes i will take up to 50 minutes like that after that one hour session 8 to 9 is our regular time okay oh. yes sir every day we will get a new link or same link no 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 so up, up to four classes or five classes this demo link we draw after that they will change another link that is permanent link to you okay okay yes that link will generate only the people who pay the money okay 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 fine you can drop now see you next class thank you thank you thank you share my screen let me know you can see or not yes, you can see sir uh, see in yesterday's the first class it was first class in the demo class just i have given some idea about what is angular okay and what we can do with this angular so those concepts we have discussed just uh, uh, 5 to 10 minutes brush up okay so angular you understand some points tell me what is angular it is yeah framework it is framework of typescript of typescript okay so to implement dynamic web pages so is it client side script or server side script client side client side script is yes angular is the framework of type script we are using this framework to implement the dynamic web applications it is client side script so angular js is also there what is angular js so it is javascript framework of javascript so version 1.x series we are calling as angular js from version 2 onwards 2 3 4 5 all these versions still now we are calling as angular okay in angular js the packages they developed by using javascript technology in angular 
those packages they develop by using TypeScript. Okay. So you want to work with Angular JS, you need to have idea on the JavaScript uh, that uh, concepts. You want to work with Angular, you should know the TypeScript concepts. So that is the difference between these two. Okay. And few more differences we have. I will discuss those differences later. Anyhow, now in companies we have openings with Angular. In companies we have openings with this Angular. Okay, fine. Now, so already I told you client side scripts we are using. In which point? Yeah. So here there are so many reasons to use the client side scripts. One is to apply dynamic functionalities on HTML controls, okay, yes. So all HTML controls are static controls. Those controls you want to convert as dynamic controls, then we are taking the support of client side scripts. And the next one, to validate input controls Okay, validation point of view. Okay. So then also we are using this client side scripts. Next one to execute logics in browser. Yes. So in browser you want to run any logics, then also we are taking the support of this client side scripts. Okay. Next one to work with Ajax. Ajax concept is there. What is that? One second. Yes, in front of JavaScript. Ajax concept to work with the Ajax concept, then also we are taking the support of this client scripts. So in uh, Angular, HTTP client is one service. So this service support we are taking to work with Ajax. So we will discuss how to use the Ajax and how to call the API services using this Ajax. Those concepts I will discuss with you. So these are the main reasons why we are using this client side scripts. So initially programmers used to work with JavaScript. But these days, okay, many programmers they are using next level technologies of JavaScript like so Angular, React, etc. Okay. Now compared with the JavaScript, what are the advantages we have that whatever you idea also have given to you? Okay. So now if you come to this point. So supports yes, data binding concept. Okay. So this Angular is supporting data binding concept. So advantage of data binding is we can bind data. Data means nothing but a variable with HTML control. Okay. We can bind a variable with HTML control. That is the concept of data binding. Now once you bind a variable with HTML control, what the advantage? The updates of variable okay will affect on the html control without any logics no need to write any logics direct those updates are affecting on the html control for example if you modify the value of variable those modifications directly will apply on the html controls that is the data binding concept okay suppose data binding next one single page applications yes so we can implement single page application means uh, what is single page application without sending a request to the server we can navigate user can navigate to the next pages every time no need to send the request to the server because all these templates initially loading into the client's cache memory location so from there only client is navigating to the other pages i told you we are spending around one week to 10 days with the single page application concept programs. That time only we are discussing. 
how to work with this navigation and uh, uh, nested navigations okay redirections from one page to another page nested redirections and login concept logout concept and the router guards okay these type of all concepts we are discussing in this point okay it supports that single page application concepts so next one provides uh, provides many services yeah services we are using from functional point of view just now i told you to work with the agile concept so http client is one service available okay like that here we have different types of services these services we are using in functional point of view okay so if we take javascript javascript to work with agile concept we need to write number of lines coding but in this angular it is very simplified coding so provides many services okay and next one here supports many validation states you know so you want to perform the validations form controls validations that time so it is providing template driven forms and reactive forms okay these type of forms we have so by using these forms we can validate the input controls means we need not execute any logic in this point of supports many validation states okay so next one here spring Recording videos, and design controls. Oh. Yeah. By default, this Angular is providing material design controls. So in Bootstrap, generally material design controls oh. are available. For example, if you take Gmail, the Gmail text box when you click on the text box, the text will go up direction, right? So that is material design control. Like that, material design text box. with the same button with the buttons different types of controls are available so that support also directly this providing for us is it clear that is supporting that material design controls okay next one here supports design patterns so this angular is supporting design pattern that is okay so controller based design pattern i will show you that one so sorry not controller component based design pattern so we are creating the components what is component i will discuss with you any of these design patterns are useful for us to simplify the coding and for reusability okay to simplify the coding as well as for reusability in that point of view we are taking the support of design patterns okay next one here provides a structure to implement logics yeah here this angular is framework if you take react js react js is library angular is framework okay what the difference between library and framework the library functionalities we can use as it is but you want to enhance those functionalities not possible but framework functionalities we can use as well as we can enhance means you can customize according to the requirement okay yes yeah so we can customize according to the requirement that is one point and second point is framework is providing one predefined structure for us to implement that logics okay but if you take library library we are using in another logic means if you take react react is a library so that we are using with javascript okay inside the javascript code we are using that react library functionalities but angular is the framework okay this framework inside the framework only we are directly writing the logic like that here so these are the main advantages which we have seen supports data binding concept and single page application many services we have and many validation states we have and it is supporting many filters okay we can call them as pipes or yesterday I told you so these filter support we have filters we are using to change the data from one format to another format okay to change the data from 
one format to another format. For example, date conversions are there, date format conversions. Then we are using filters or else. For example, here, so one number is that you want to convert into rupees or dollars. Then we are taking the support of filters. Like that we have different types of filters. Okay, these filters support we are using here. Yes, so supports the filters are types we can see in this. Okay, now I will explain you what are the types of types we have and how to work in these pipes. All these things we will discuss. Like that, compared with JavaScript, we have many advantages in this Angular. So that's why in companies these days, so they are using this Angular to develop the client side logics. Okay. For server side logics, yesterday already I told you, so in companies they are using different technologies like PHP, ASP, JSP, like that. In client side point of view, so generally JavaScript, but now the next level technologies of JavaScript like this Angular or React, these technologies they are using. Okay, yes. So these are the basic points which we discussed and this uh, uh, Angular, who implemented this Angular? So already I told you initially in Visco Avery. Okay. So in 2010 he released the basic version that is 1.0. One, one of the employees of Google Corporation. Okay. And he implemented this Angular in the year 2010. And what the version of this 1.0? Is it clear? Yes. So later they added more features and released the other versions like 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, like that. Okay, in 2016, the year 2016, so 2.0 is released and 1.0 or 1.1, 1 1.x series we are calling as AngularJS. They used JavaScript to develop the packages. From 2.x series onward, they use a TypeScript. So that's just simply we are calling it as Angular. Okay. So that's why Angular actually Angular is released in 2000 and Angular JS today here. In, so Angular is released in 2016. The version is 2.0 and Angular JS released in 2010. That is 1.x series. That is the concept. Of this. Is it clear? Fine. Now these are the points which we discussed. Which organization is made in this Angular? Okay, Google Corporation. It belongs to Google. Okay, yes. So this is the basic overview idea I have given again. And now we are discussing why they use a TypeScript in this version 2.0. That is very important in entry point of view. So simply they are asking. In Angular JS they use it JavaScript and Angular they use it TypeScript. What are the reasons behind that? Okay, so that point we are going to discuss. Before that, you have any doubts? You can ask. Abhijit, Nalla, Vardhan, Anumant, Yes, Shobha, Vinay. Any queries? Any questions? Between client side and the server side scripting languages. <laughs> client side scripting, server side scripting. For example, yeah, if you take Facebook example, okay, Facebook home page. That Facebook home page, both client side script and server side script is available. So now, if I type in my system, okay, for example, open this room and www.fp.com at facebook.com. Now my request is sent to the Facebook server and the page is displayed. No? So means some data is downloaded. So that information is displayed. So in this point of view, the original client says skipped of this page is downloaded into my system. Means HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React script, everything is downloaded into my system and in my system it is executed. So that's why if I right click and select view page source, now you can see that script is available here. 
means client side script is downloading into the client system and it is executing in this client system so in the same facebook server side script is there that server side script php they use it here in this facebook okay so that's why here if i type slash index dot php so same page it displays here okay so because facebook server side script is php okay in case if i use php here then it displays some page like this okay something like that so this is not a valid page actually then login is changed like this the facebook server side script is dot php and here also you can see that file extensions here yeah, i can see php and dot php so here you can see the file names everything here okay yeah so this server side script the code is not downloading into the client system okay that code is running in the web server only result is coming so if you observe this area login form yeah i will tell you one scenario for you yes. so now if you take login as one use case what the phases you want to work with that login concept so how many phases we have in this login concept how many steps to finish this login first we need to design login form second one validate okay controls third one okay send controls means what are the controls username password data to server okay fourth take username password or email id password okay some website there is using username some website there is using email id so valid or sir please sir please sir you need to check that okay next one here redirect to either welcome page or valid user these are the main steps which we have in this course okay login concept if you observe here okay first we need to design the login page after that we need to validate the controls okay and next one send controls data to server and next one username password valid or invalid and redirect to welcome page these are the general steps which we have now here see in this page this is a login page so you want to design this page actually we are taking the support of yeah html css okay these technologies okay to place the controls here html to apply the borders and this button background color everything we are using css this technology we are using so that is ui designer okay ui designer is working on that and validation point of view when i click on this login button here so we are getting these error messages okay something like this error messages we are getting here with this some symbol like that okay so in this point of we are taking the support of client side you will open go to website sir and see videos of java what the client side script we are using now angular okay so means in browser only browser itself we can check this test box is empty or not and this test box is empty or not this type of information we can see in this browser only so we are validating in this browser for that no need to go to the server actually some websites validating the server also but most of the website they are validating via in browser only so here only they are checking this test box is empty or not or password test box is empty or not this type of validations for example if i enter here a b c d okay so then is it valid email id it is not a valid email id the format is not valid email id so this type of validations we are performing client system so client side script is executing in client system with the help of browser so in that point of in old days java script we used to work but these days angular we are using next one sending data to server okay so how can i send the data to server so now we are using the mechanism ajax there are two ways we have 
one is submit by using form submit button so we can means insert the form with the help of submit button we can send the data data means nothing but this test box values right so we are sending the data to the server but here submit concept these days we are not using the submit concept mostly we are working with ajax to send the data because ajax if i use only this text box values i can set in case if it is submit concept enter page is loading into the server means it increases the burden on the network traffic that's why so these days we reduce reduce the uses of the submit concept we reduce the uses of submit concept instead that we are using ajax so you want to work with this ajax compressor we need to use client side scripts so what is the client side script we are using here angular we are using here so once you send this username password or email address or password to server there connect with the database and check that username password is registered in the database or not in that point of view so we are connecting with the server we are connecting with the server database so in this point of view client side script is not useful for us we are taking the support of server side scripts okay so client side scripts are executing client system server side scripts are executing in web server and database is presented website database is presented in server machine so that's why in order to connect with the database compulsory we need to use server side scripts then server side program is creating the api services to check that username password is valid or invalid in that point of view so asp technology or php or jsp so let's or node js like that we have different types of server side scripts in this step okay now that server side programmer he is creating api services that api services he is receiving the data which we are passing from browser and that data he is checking with the database whether valid or invalid if it is valid he is passing one value okay if it is invalid failure value he is passing based on that value again we need to send that user from this login page to same error page or welcome page right so in that point of view we are using the client side script for navigation i told you in a single page application at the but routing concept we are using to navigate from login page to welcome page like that here see if you take the simple login concept so in this validations and sending data to server to ajax and redirection in these three point of views we are taking the support of client side scripts is this clear yes yeah, yeah. and here designing point of view we are using html css it is not coding it is static content for the designing purpose and the dynamic functionalities we need to write the logics those logics two types we have one is client side logic another one is server side logics client side logics are executing where in browser server side logics are executing in server so for example i want to display the data in the tabular format okay so from database i'm fetching data and i'm displaying the tabular format so row wise and for every row in last i want to put delete button and update button yes when user click on this update button i want to display the text boxes to update the data inside that row in that point of we are using client side script okay like that what are the operations we are performing on the browser in every point of a client side script is required okay a client side script is required that is the main concept of this. so in this scenario so we can use javascript we can use but javascript problem is coding point of huge coding it requires and not support the concepts like single page application data binding like that these concepts not supporting so that's why we are working with this angular or other next level technologies is this clear yes so here i told you typescript is required to learn this angular and the typescript you need not learn anywhere here only i am discussing the typescript once we clear with the typescript then only i will start the angular concepts yes initial some days we are spending with typescript 
Uh, without knowledge on the TypeScript, you cannot understand anything in this Angular. So that's why first I'm discussing the TypeScript. After that only I'm starting the Angular concepts. Okay? Yes. Any more doubts, Abhijit? And uh, one then one month. Yeah, you can ask me have any more questions. So where client side script is executing? In which location? Client system browser. Yeah. Every browser contains interpreters to run this client script. Okay. So when the page is downloading from server, original client script also downloading here and it is executing in the client system. Is it clear? So yesterday I told you one example. So calculator program you want to implement, right? Yes. So in that calculator program, user will enter some numbers and uh, when he click on the plus button or minus button, so then we need to display the result of those numbers. So in this point of view, this calculator program, we can implement by using either client set script or server set script. Yes. Yeah. If I implement using client set script, then for every operation, the code is executing where? For every operation where? that code is executing client system or server mission if we use client side script so if for client plus button or minus client button system. where that code is executing where it is running in client system client system, client system. if i use php or jsp servlets or uh, any uh, 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 that asp then where it is executing server side server system server mission so which one is taking much time? Server side mission. Yeah, because when user click on the plus button or minus button in his system, means user means nothing but client. Okay, here client. So don't think client is uh, the person who is paying money for developing the project. Don't think like that. In our point of client means who is using our application. That person we are calling as client. Is it clear? So yeah. when user or client click on the plus button, so if it is Angular code or any other client side script code, so it is executed in his system only. That's why you can see the result immediately. In case if it is server side script, the logic is implemented with server side script, so he has to go to the server and for that it is taking some time. It is depending upon the network traffic and internet connection. So that's why user will get some delay to see the result. So that's why most of the logics we are implementing with client side scripts. Okay. What we can't handle with client side scripts. So as I told you now, okay, already I told you, database, you want to connect with the database or server. Okay. So compulsory server side script is required. In this point of view, client side script is not giving support. Got it? And uh, sessions you want to create compulsory server side script and tokens you want to create then server side script. So in that point of view, in websites we are using server side scripts. V means server side programmers are involving there and remaining all concepts implemented with client side script that is your responsibility as you a developer. Is it clear? Yes. So any more queries? Actually here, if you take the different designations here, we are designer. Yeah, you are designer means who is working with these designing forms. Okay, so who is creating user interfaces? That person we are calling as you are designer. What the technologies he is using? HTML, CSS. These are the technologies, right? Next one here, you are developer. Yeah, who is working with these front-end technologies like Angular, React, Vue.js, okay, and Vanilla.js, Backbone.js, like that. This person means who is writing the front-end coding. That person we are calling as Vue developer, okay. Next one here, server-side programmer. Who is implementing the server-side logics by using JSP, ASP, PHP, okay, Node like this person we are calling as server side programmer next one here full stack programmer who is full stack programmer who is working with both ua development as well as server side 
coding yes ui developer plus server side coding including database like oracle or sql or etc we are calling as full stack program means full stack program is working both these two sides okay front end as well as back end okay and uh, we have the next step that is main stack so main stack programmer is same as full stack programmer only. okay so main stack programmer so in which areas full stack programmer working so in the same areas main stack programmer also working but programming stack is different full stack uh, front end we can use any technology like angular react or uh, vanilla js like that and uh, server side body java dotnet or php anything and database sql server oracle mysql anything but when you are coming to the main stack it is specific stack okay so specific stack means collection of technologies so mongodb express js angular and node this combination okay so it is full stack development only but what that uh, pro programming stack we are using here technologies mongodb that is for database and express js that is the framework of node js and angular that is for front end and node this is for back end so this combination also is available it is also having much demand in this software industries but right now you will become as ua developer once you have good experience with this ua development after that you can go with that main stack development also okay to extend your okay so professional career then you can go with that the main stack development also okay so these are the different types of roles we have and uh, i told you angular js angular js is implemented using what the technology javascript and angular package and the implement by using typescript now what are the differences between javascript and typescript why they used why they changed the technology to adopt the packages of angular means any more advantages we have in typescript compared with javascript yes definitely what are these advantages we will discuss okay so this is one common interview question so what are the differences between javascript and typescript they are asking so so those points we are going to discuss now after that i will discuss the differences between angular js and angular okay after that i will start the concepts of typescript is it clear Okay. Now here the thing is, what are the differences between the JavaScript and TypeScript we are going to discuss now. Now, so now here if you take JavaScript, JavaScript is loosely typed script, but if you take TypeScript. TypeScript is, yeah, it is TypeScript, yeah. So what is loosely typed script and what is TypeScript? That I will discuss with you, yes. Uh, before that, if you have any more doubts in your mind, you can clear those things. Any more queries? You wanna? Yeah, so, in javascript at the time of variable declaration at the time of variable declarations we are we are unable to provide the data types like number string boolean these type of data types not possible to provide is it clear yes simply we are declaring the variable like where serial number is equal to 100 like that so this is the name of variable and this is value we are not providing any data type and don't feel where is data type where is nothing but the scope of variable so from where we can access that scope we can decide by using where it is not data type data types are nothing but number string boolean like that these are data types okay so if you take javascript javascript is not supporting any data types and typescript is supporting data types okay that is type same 
So here, JavaScript is loosely typed script I told you. So means we can store 100 here. Now in next line, I can store that spot. Because this serial number is not restricted with any specific data, that's why we can change any type of value to this variable. So it is it causes some memory leak sometimes. That is the main issue. But in TypeScript, you are providing a specific data type. Means we are allocating the exact memory to the variable. So that's why there is no chance to get the memory leaks. So that is very type safe for us. That is the main advantage of TypeScript. Okay, so TypeScript is supporting different types of data types like number, string, boolean, like that we have different types of data types here. I will explain those concepts later. So this is the first difference between JavaScript and TypeScript. So this point is here. Yeah. So any questions you want to ask in this point, you can ask me. Yes. So what is loosely typed uh, script? What the meaning of loosely typed? Tell me Ramesh. Yeah, you have any data type. Yeah, any data types. We are not restricting a variable with a specific data type. That's why that variable value, anything we can pass. Sometimes if uh, the bytes are changing, uh, there is chance to get the memory leaks. So that's why here in TypeScript specifically they use the data types here. They introduce the data types. So because of this data types, that's restricted value only we can store in that variable. Okay, not any kind of value that is the main okay next one here javascript is yes. interpreted okay. and typescript is compiler yeah what is the difference between interpreter and compiler for example you are implementing one program it contains so 10 lines or 20 lines like now you are running that program we are executing that program if it is interpreted script then what is happening line by line it is executing yes it is executing line by line if there is any error in the specific line you stop the execution there you stop the execution there that is the concept now. okay and for example, I have 10 lines code and uh, I got error in line number three. Okay. Then interpreter script is showing that error. It will not check for the next lines. Once you rectify this error and re-execute, then only it is going for the next line checking. Is it clear? Means as a programmer, you cannot see all errors at a time. If it is interpreted, but compiler is not like that. Yeah. It will run, execute, it will check all lines of the script and displace all errors in single shot. So we can rectify all these errors at a time. Okay, that is the main advantage. And moreover, so interpreted script is a little bit slower than compiler script. Okay, so that is the main advantage. So type script is compiler script. So we can see the all errors at a time and uh, it is faster also. Is it clear? Next one. So JavaScript is not supporting all OOPS concepts. TypeScript supports complete OOPS concepts. That is one more advantage. In JavaScript, classes we can create, inheritance we can use, but you want to work with this, yeah. So polymorphism, okay, or overloading. So these type of concepts are not possible. Name spaces you want to get, these are not possible because it is not supporting the data types. So some many OOPs concepts are not available in JavaScript. But if you take TypeScript, TypeScript supports any type of object-oriented programming concepts. That is the main point of this. Is it clear? It is supporting more OOPS concepts. Okay. Next one here. JavaScript is not good to display errors. And TypeScript displays okay, any type of yeah. 
in errors point of view javascript is not that much friendly to display the errors and uh, sometimes we are missing the meanings also okay it is not providing the specific reason why this error is getting like that this type of issue is there in the javascript but typescript if you take here in this point of view the errors display point of it is very clear one simple example i will show you okay, then you will get some clarity in this point of view i am creating one program okay let me create one program just i want to use Open tag, script open tag, script closing tag. So in the script open and closing tags, just I want to use like yeah one function I'm creating. Simple example only can be done. Function f one. So in this function alert alert we are using to display the message box. So high message I have given. Now I am calling this. So this demo dot HTML, this demo dot HTML, this function I am displaying high messages. So let me run this demo dot HTML. Hello. Yes. So display the high messages. Okay. Yeah. So now if I call function to yeah it is not available it is not available that's why we are not getting any messages and uh, how can you see the address in javascript right click inspect and in this inspect console if i go with the console so it displays the meaningful error only function is not depend in this point of view display that meaningful error now yeah come back to this function what Yes, run this. So you are getting that high message. Fine. Now here I am taking two variables x comma y. Okay. And here I am passing. So here how many arguments I am passing? It two arguments, two variables are there. No issue. You are getting this high message. So in case if I pass thirty, now. Is it matching with this argument list or not? The values which we are passing matching the argument list or not? That is my question. No, no, no. no. Okay. So here I am displaying x also. I let x. Actually, in this point of it is not valid, but it is valid that it cannot display any error message related to this. So same if you take TypeScript. Or Java, or .NET, or any other technology, you get the error message. This match arguments come. Yes, but here it is not giving any error message. Is it clear? So like that, for example, I have given x comma y comma z. I have given alert x plus y plus z. What is the result we are getting? Sixty is the result we are getting here. And here I am using one more variable comma a. And I'm performing operation with that a also. So now see how many variables we declared in this signature. Four variables are there, but how many I am passing? Three variables. Now here further, it is not raising any error message. It is called that function, and not a number that related message it is getting here. But actually, it should raise one message here. So with the Function arguments are mismatching yeah. that, yeah. and it should raise one message. That is not coming. Okay, like that. So in address point of view, display point of view. I mean, in address display point of view, is not that much user friendly, programmer friendly. But TypeScript, the same scenario if you observe TypeScript, definitely displays one straight message to you. Yes. My uh, arguments count is not matching. Not only TypeScript, Java, .NET, and other technologies also same message it is given. Yes, that is one more uh, some issue in this JavaScript. And here next one coding point of view, TypeScript is. Really 
प्रोडक्ट विच कंपनी anybody have idea let's keep on so don't related java script in java okay java is different java script is different okay yes see the product or let's keep type script here type script the product of mutin malaru let the person let only mutin malaru the sarna da le angle is the product of Google, Google. React is the product of the Facebook. Okay, like that here. TypeScript belongs to Microsoft Corporation, and JavaScript is the Netscape Corporation. TypeScript is nothing but the super set of JavaScript, and it is simple programming than JavaScript. I will show you one example. I know you can see programming differences when I start the TypeScript concept. That time I will explain one example. The so same code in JavaScript and TypeScript. In these two programs, I will show you. Then you can easily compare the differences between these two programs. Okay, same concept. Okay, same concept with two uh, JavaScript program and TypeScript program. You can easily compare the lines of this program, and it supports the data types, object-oriented programming support, and many. Functional these things it is supporting, and next one it is compiler script. Okay, TypeScript is compiler script. That's why it's faster. Like that, these are the advantages. Due to this reason only, in 2.0 version, from 2.0 onwards. Okay, so from 2.0 onwards till now, how many version they release? All version they use it TypeScript, and further versions also. They are using TypeScript only to develop the packages. Is it clear? So to develop the Angular packages. That's why in order to consume, in order to access the Angular packages, we should know TypeScript knowledge. So that's why first I'm discussing the concepts of TypeScript. Then only we start the concepts of Angular. Is it clear? So these are the main differences between the jobs. Yes, coach. Yes, coach. Yes, coach. Puri, yes, coach. Puri, coach. I got. I think you got some clarity about this. And in our uh, flow running classes, flow, you will get more ideas about this. Only Puri and no payroll, ke Puri. So Puri and no payroll. Now, what are the differences between Angular JS and Angular? That concept I will discuss in next class. After that, I will start the TypeScript concepts, and then. It will take around 15 days like that to do the type concepts. Once those complete, then I will start the discussion of Angular framework structure and everything. Yes. Fine. Uh, I told you yesterday. Once again, I'm repeating. So we are discussing the complete concepts of Angular. Those are available. Asalay na rupa ni dey. Make up na rupa ni dey. Is available in the the classes. You can collect that course content for revise. This is Radhika. We are discussing the Radhika. 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 APS course integration with Bootstrap. Okay. And the next one integration with the font or some other fonts. Okay, and this yeah, one material design for the third operations like that. So promises, observables, okay. uh, and RHS packages. Okay, how to work with this RHS React extension JavaScript. Okay, <laughs> that is a third part of packages we are using for asynchronous calls and AJAX concepts like that. So complete. Okay, oh. Uh, Concepts we are discussing here, and uh, some part of mini application also I will show you. So concepts wise, mini application is true. Okay. Yes. 
So any more queries? And core duration is minimum 60 days. It will take no doubt in that point. I mean, that will take. Sometimes it may extend to one week also, or one week to ten days. So don't fix before the 60 days. So 60 to 70 days, we can fix in our minds. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So any more queries? Any more questions you have? You can ask me now. Yeah, sorry. ंग <laughs> Then we are offering those things here, but uh, this is not job guarantee. You see here. Okay, okay. So here, technical point of view, we are going to further passing this stuff to you. And uh, sometimes some companies are visiting Durga South. So if any company visit there, visit then that information we are providing. They are conducting one exam. Okay. But it may happen or may not happen. It is bad. I don't. Know. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Yes. But this is not job guarantee. Program. Means uh, some, um, some organizations they are charging thirty thousand like that, and they are telling job guarantee. We are sending you to companies like that. But it may success or fail. Okay. We are not taking that type of risks here. So. Complete technical knowledge we are providing. So see this. Why should we pay thirty thousand, forty thousand, and uh, without any guarantee? Yes. If you learn these skills, okay, you can easily apply resume and you can easily get the job. That is very helpful to you in your work environment also. In that environment, you can easily work. Is it clear? So first try to get the complete knowledge, then you can easily get the job. Many calls yes. are there. Once you upload your resume, definitely you will get uh, many calls in short span, and it can be easily placed in the companies. Okay, if you have technical skills. Yeah. So I will provide you the videos. I told you the videos I am providing to you, and this demo video already uploaded. I guess in YouTube channel of the Gasoft. Check it out. So up to demo videos are available in YouTube channels. Once this demo is completed, that means within three four days they are going the demo. Then uh, link will change. Demo means uh, don't expect the repeated concept every day. I will discuss new concepts every day. Uh, demo means pre-link. This is pre-link. So it maintains up to five days like that. After that payment link will change. So that time I will provide you the videos. Do what? Drive access. I will provide the drive access. Okay. Yes, that videos I am providing and uh, class notes I am providing. The programs also I will upload the drive you can access those programs. Okay. Yes. Uh, sir, after the demo classes, it will be like a continuation with the regular classes, right? So all are regular classes only. Link. This is. Free link it maintains up to five days like that. After that payment link is coming. So the time slot everything is set. Won't change. Okay, because I have uh, there is no scope to change also because I have only seventy eight one slot is running and eight to nine for you. Okay, next nine to ten another slot. After that. My office time will start. Okay, I will work with one company. Then time will start. That's why this is fixed time period. Okay, it will not change. Thank you, sir. Hello, Nanda. Any more questions? Ah, hotel or hotel? Uh, yeah, I found somewhere that uh, Angular is an MVM architecture, and uh, somewhere it is found that. Component based architecture. Yeah, component based. Okay. Okay. Then we are creating the components. Okay. Yeah, I will explain how to create the component everything. Okay. 
Sir, class notes I told you now after link change at that time I will give the drive access then you will get the class notes. Okay. So in the, uh, this four or five class notes you want to get so it will directly send to your mail ID but uh, this gap we have to register. Okay. Then only our mail ID is available. No? So if you register with that dot class out then they will send the notes of today's class and tomorrow like that. So after payment link, I will provide the drive access. Okay. So that uh, class recordings are available up to six months. Okay. Up to six months, those recordings are available. Yeah, hello, sir. Yeah. Uh, any offline uh, batch is available for this? Or only online? So right now, we're not looking for any offline batches. Because for, for um, this for, for, for this batch, this is only online class for, right. for 8 to 9. Yeah, this is online. Yeah. We don't start any Hello. offline batches. Not we. So the class have started some offline batches also. But I don't start any offline batch. Everything is online. Yeah, okay. Yeah, fine. See you next class. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am sharing my screen. Please let me know if you can see. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, sir. Morning, God. Yeah. Yeah. So, in last class, just I have given some idea about uh, what is Angular, and we also discussed the differences between JavaScript and TypeScript, right? Now we are going to discuss so what is the what are the main differences between Angular JS and Angular. These points I am sharing with you. Okay. Yes. Before that, uh, any questions you want to ask me, you can ask. Any questions? Any queries? Want to ask? Can no doubts. Okay, fine. Uh, let me open this notes.
What is the difference between? Are you interested in joining demonstration, sir? One second. Sir, timing, sir. Match timing. Can you aim, sir? Okay, sir. So here, the difference between angular and angular JS, okay, these points we are going to discuss. Yeah. So I think you got some points, okay, in these uh, differences point of view. Can you tell me uh, one or two differences from your side? Tell me. Angular JS is JavaScript while Angular is TypeScript. Yes, Anwar. Hello. Hello, good afternoon, sir. We are calling from Nikas of Institute. Today, I am going to demonstrate this at the start of the system. Sir? Are you attending the demonstration, sir? Yes, tell me one more difference. Huh? No. Yeah, so here. Angular JS and angular differences we are discussing. Angular JS is it is the framework of JavaScript I told you, right? So because Angular JS libraries are implemented based on JavaScript. Angular is the framework of TypeScript. Yes. Angular JS is the framework for JavaScript. Angular is the framework of TypeScript. Yeah, that is first point. Yes. Next, uh, can you tell me one more point? According to our discussion, I am asking. So think and tell me. Yeah. Uh, uh, Angular is support of data binding. Angular JS is not supporting no, no, data no, binding. No, 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 don't change <laughs> that concept. Both supports data <laughs> binding. I did not tell you anywhere that Angular JS is not supporting data binding. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> version 1.x is Angular JS. 1.x means 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, like that. So, from 2.0 onwards, we can call as Angular. Yes, yes. So 1.x version we are calling as Angular JS. From 2 onwards, we are calling as Angular. Next one. Uh -huh. From now onwards, I will tell you. So Angular JS supports object-oriented programming or not? So in Angular JS, not supporting the object-oriented programming. Okay. Yes. So because it is JavaScript based, already told in differences. Okay. Now if you observe this, they are not supporting all groups concepts. JavaScript is not supporting all object-oriented programming concepts. That's why. So Angular JS is implemented based on JavaScript and that's why it is not supporting all object-oriented programs. Angular JS 
not supports all groups. Angular supports groups. Okay. Now, JavaScript is it supporting data types? JavaScript supporting the data types? No. No. But TypeScript support the data types, no? So type, name itself, type is there, okay? So now here, AngularJS is not supporting data types. <laughs> Angular support. Data type. Yes. Yeah. Next one. Angular JS is good for data binding and single page applications, but not supports mobile apps. So it is good, Angular is good for data binding and single page applications. But it is not supporting the mobile apps. Means, so mobile support is not there. So if you open mobile browsers, the mobile, so not supporting mobile okay, browsers. You can see like. So in mobile browsers, it is not executing, okay? So that's why if the application is developed with AngularJS, so it is giving the issue in that mobile browsers. But Angular is not like that. Angular will based on mobile. So, Yes, Angular especially built based on mobile support. So, which application we develop using Angular that is supporting the Hello. mobile everything. Good afternoon, sir. We are calling from Vikas of Institute. Uh, this clear? Yes. yes. Next one here. Demo, you will attend the demonstration, sir. Angular JS. Packages are available in angular.js file. So while working with this angular.js, so I guess in my desktop it is available, I guess, yeah. So this is angular.js file. So in this file, the angular.js functionalities are available. We are using this file in our application. First, we need to import in our application. Then we can work with that. Okay. That is about this concept. Now, Angular, uh, actually not packages, sorry, functionalities. Angular functionalities are available in the form of node yes so these angular functions are available in the form of node packages that is the meaning okay Any more doubts you have Hello. till now? Hello, good Next one. We are from the Angular JS code Today is visible in okay. browser stores okay. option, <laughs> but not Angular. Now what it is, for example, if I open 
any website like Google. So right click, Hello. view, paste source, source yes, option. You are the booster course, sir. Here you can see, yes, this is JavaScript functions, everything, you can see that code. So HTML code is available here, CSS code is available here, and JavaScript code is available like that. So this information is available here. So this code is available, this technology is. Even you can see AngularJS code also, but Angular code is not visible on the browser source. Means the end user who is accessing our application that user cannot see the angular so that is the main point that was not possible sir is this clear yes okay so i will show you that when we start the angular so that time i will show you one program the angular js and angular then you will get the clarity okay yes Next. So, Angular is providing more support in routing than Angular JS. So compare with that, Angular JS, Angular is providing many features in the routing concept. So I told you single page application okay, that constant we are discussing. Okay. In that point sir. of we are taking the support of routing. No? So we are using the routing concept. So we are creating yes, the sir, programs. Week. Okay. Yes, and uh, login, logout. That yes, time authentication, authorization, role based authentication means provide the accessibility of form the manager, administrator, super administrator. So in that point of view, Angular is providing more support than Angular Jeans. Is it clear? Yes. Angular is providing more support than Angular Jeans. That is the main thing. Okay, sir. Yeah. After, you will pay Next one here. After month ending, you will pay So when you take Angular JS, Angular JS is modular program. And Angular is yes, sir. Yes, sir. component program. Yes. In Angular JS we are creating modules. Okay. So in Angular we are creating the components. Is it clear? Yes. In Angular we are creating the components. Means logics we are creating in the form of modules. And in Angular logics, we are creating in the comp form of components. So modules we are creating with functions and components we are creating with classes. Is it clear? So that's why in programming point of view, Angular is much, much faster than Angular JS and it is very flexible. So I read in some articles, Angular is five times more faster than Angular JS. Okay because of the component programming. Yes, sir, yes, Components are nothing but the objects oh, yes, sir, which we are creating to hold the logics here. These components are very, very faster than modules here. So modular program. Is it clear? Yes. So Angular JS is modular programming. Angular is component program. That is the main thing. I will explain you how to create the components, everything I will discuss with you. And here, object-oriented programming point of view. So it is supporting everything. Classes, it is supporting inheritance, interfaces. Okay. And next one here, abstract classes like constructors. Is it clear? So like that here, so it supports overloading concept. Our namespaces, package bindings, static. Okay. So everything because TypeScript, TypeScript is supporting the groups concepts. So that's why obviously in Angular they use TypeScript for the development. So it is also supporting 
all these object oriented programming concepts that is the main point of this clear yes yes no next angular is Hello. simple in coding So these are the basic points here and uh, next one angular supports material design controls. So this material design controls we are using okay in our application. So the main advantage of material design controls we are creating the rich look and feel web pages okay so that's the main advantage of this rich look and feel web pages we are creating so like that we are using these concepts okay. this is about angular js and yes So any more questions you have, now you can ask me because we are going to discuss the next topic. So regarding these points, any other queries, if you have, you can ask me. Yeah. So you may have some idea, uh, some doubt, not idea, some doubt. So is knowledge on Angular required to Angular JS? Knowledge on Angular is required to work with Angular. Okay, that doubt you may get. Yes. So here, knowledge on Angular JS is not required to work with Angular because in programming point of view, Angular JS programming is, is different and Angular programming is different. To work with this Angular JS, I already told you we are taking the support of javascript to work with angular we are using TypeScript. that's why so in programming point of view there are no similarities between this angular js and angular and second point in companies we have openings in this angular okay in companies we have openings of angular that's why so we we should you must learn the angular concepts so those concepts i'm discussing now so with the help of TypeScript, we don't deal any old version that is one point x nothing but angular js here so completely we are moving through angular which is required according to the industry now okay fine sir so what is the uh, okay yeah what is the what are the oops concept that angular js supports uh, already i told you know classes inheritance interfaces okay so next one extracts. This you said about Angular, right? I'm telling but, you about uh, Angular. About Angular, yes. Angular just already told me Angular just not supporting OOPs. You told not supports all OOPs. Yeah, OOPs actually. So. Oops. It is not support, uh, support OOPs concepts. Not all OOPs concepts. It is not supporting. So in JavaScript point of view, I have written that notes. So if you take JavaScript, yeah. So JavaScript is use it yeah it is not something all groups now so in javascript classes we can create in javascript we can use inheritance concept but we cannot use interfaces okay overloading these type of concepts when you are coming to the angular js okay in angular js there is no class nothing is there okay so same all i have written here by mistake okay it is not supporting any object oriented programming concepts but angular supports Hello. all object oriented programming concepts Hello. Hello. Yeah. so that is the thing so in, uh, i told you now it is modular programming modules we are creating with the help of functions already i told you that point there in angular js we are using functional programming 
and in angular we are using class based program classes we are creating here even in angular js no class is there then if class is not there obviously there is no object oriented program yes you got the clarity in this yes sir any more questions manmohan abhijit tatatriya now our type script we are going to start okay so before that type script html point of view some introduction i am providing to you because we are working with the front end concepts okay so your responsibility is you need to handle the login form uh, registration form and sometimes sometimes you need to use the html controls in your programming point of view also okay so in that point of view for that you should have minimum idea on the html okay then how you are designers can work with the html templates everything you are coming under you are developers but in some companies some companies these two tasks are implementing by you are developers that's why anyhow if we have some idea on the html that is very very helpful for us so due to that reason so only one to two sessions means today and tomorrow we are discussing the html concepts after that i will start the typescript concepts is it clear yes now i guess you people have idea on this html so that's why i don't discuss so the regular and repeated concepts in html for me the main thing is what is container what is non container what is inline what is block level so why we have that pair tags means open and closing tags for some elements okay so what we can do with this tags so that kind of information in html point of view and discuss got it yes so only two sessions we are spending with html according to my okay requirement to explain the concepts of angular which how much html is required that only we are discussing but in typescript point of view complete typescript we are discussing here and after that we are starting the angular concepts now html what is html tell me your words hypertext markup language not full form i am asking what is html and means what we can do with html huh? why we are using html hello, hello. any good afternoon to design the static web pages or web templates right like that to provide the structure to the web page like that we have yeah structure of the web page like that we have many different uh, definitions here so html is a web technology we can use to design web pages okay yeah so we are using to design the web pages so now already told that full form yes it stands for hypertext markup ways okay now what is the main role of html so html is providing many elements okay like img input div span like them different types of elements we have so these elements we are using to display the controls on browser so every browser is providing some controls if we take mozilla firefox internet explorer google chrome etc etc 
So all these browsers are providing some controls using HTML. We can display the contours of browser. So here we are using different types of browsers like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, etc. All these browsers contains some controls like text box button, radio button, etc. These controls we can display with the help of HTML. Okay. Now here HTML provides any elements to display controls on. So HTML provides many elements to display the controls on browser. Example for these elements are nothing but here. Yes, input ing Okay. Do. So every element we should enclose it with angle brackets. So what are the angle brackets here? Less than and greater than symbol values. Every element. We should enclose with angle brackets. Okay. So then we can call it as tag. Yes. So here I am the day within the less than and greater than symbol. These brackets were called as angle brackets. Okay. So then if you place inside this less than and greater than, it becomes under tag. Like that input okay like in all the other elements okay fine now every element is providing many properties we can call as attributes yes so every element is providing many properties we are calling them as attributes okay so here these all points are very important to work with Angular. Is it clear? Yes. In HTML point of view, what are the things we are discussing here? Those points are very, very important to work with this Angular. Because in Angular also we are using these elements everything. Okay. So Angular is providing different types of directives like ng class ng style etc etc so by that time okay to use those things you must have idea on this html is it clear without knowledge on this html you cannot work with this so that's the main thing. okay yes so attributes and properties okay example we take src is one property type is one property like that we have different types of properties we are also calling them as attributes is this clear yes every element is providing many properties we call as attributes and that is the point next so html file extension should be dot htm or dot html what the extension of this file yeah it should be dot htm or dot html anything we can use here as the extension of this is this clear this is about the concept of basics in html now i am creating a single uh, means Single, simple HTML program. Now go to this edit plus. Right now I am using edit plus, but after two three classes I will discuss how to work with the Microsoft Visual Studio code and how to use the plugins in that code. Okay, and what the options we have. So with that ID we are using, we are creating the programs. We are using Microsoft Visual Studio code. Okay. Now I am saving this file. Okay, one file I'm creating so demo.html as I told you HTML file extension should be dot html. So 
HTML document structure is there, HTML tag, head tag, body tag. I am not touching those things now. In next session, I will discuss. But here I am taking the support of body. Body, why we are using this body in HTML? To display elements, okay, to place the elements, okay, image, text box, button, all these elements we are placing inside this body. Now here, ing I have given. So what is the purpose of this? Displays image control. So some controls we are closing directly like this. And some you observe it contains open and closing tags separately. So what is the difference? Why body contains open and closing tag? Why image contains these slashes? That topic I will discuss with containers and non-containers. First, let me show you one HTML document and uh, that properties with the example of properties and tag. Okay. Now, source is equal to this source property we are using to specify which image you want to display on this control. Now, in my browser, if you observe, one image is there apple.jpg, mango like then we have different images. I want to show mango.jpc. So this is property. Already I told you that point here. If you observe, every element is providing many properties. We can also call as attributes. These properties we are also calling as attributes. Okay, that is the point. Now here one more property we are using. Uh, width is equal to 100 pixels. Save this. This is about demo.html. So, which is created in the desktop. Now, if you observe here, somewhere it is created. If you open this, it displays that mango.jpc. <laughs> it is clear, it is displaying mango.jpc. Okay, fine. Now, one more. For example, I am taking IMG without any angle brackets. Mm -hmm. Then, browser understanding this as as image control or text message, how browser is understanding? Is browser understanding as image control? I give an IMG here. Hmm? Or normal plain text, what the output you are expecting? Normal plain text. Yeah, if you place inside the less than and greater than symbols, then only browser can consider it as one control okay one tag means control otherwise simply it is normal text save and refresh we are getting this is it clear yes for example here spot within the angle brackets is it tag or not tag only I have given the form of tag. Is it valid tag or invalid tag? Invalid. Invalid because that spot is not available. So then what the result on this browser? This body. Okay, this is body. Yes, enter this white color work area we are calling as body in the browser. And on top of this we have title and address bar. This is end location. Is it clear? So this spot we are calling as this part we are calling as head location of the document and this is body. So we are displaying the <laughs> image control <laughs> and other controls in the body. That's why I have taken the body tag. So my question is if I refresh this browser, what it displays about this card? Any error message or Scott text or any other control? Which output you are expecting? Tell me. So that is Scott tag as a text. You are expecting Scott as text. No, not no, expecting. No. Uh. Nothing, nothing is uh, nothing has to be appear. Why nothing? Is it to display error? Can we expect no, any no. error? Why no. no error? Because HTML is errorless technology. So it is not displaying any error messages. So if you enter any, if you provide any invalid tag, simply it ignores that one. 
but not raising any error messages. Is it clear? Simply it is ignoring the tag, but it is not raising any error messages. That is the concept of this. Okay. So now here, see the result of this. Yeah. You can't expect the text messages here. And no error also displays anywhere here. So generally, client set errors where I can see JavaScript errors. Okay, inspect and in this developers tool, console is the option. So there generally, if any error is occurring in the client set scripts, it displays here. But right now I told you on point HTML is errorless. That's why no error message is coming here. Is it clear? But in JavaScript, at the time of discussion of JavaScript, every time we are opening this uh, browser developers tool and going to the console to see the error messages. JavaScript display the error messages. Okay. But JavaScript also not providing the proper errors here. So that's why here we are using TypeScript in Angular. TypeScript errors also we are seeing in the same way only. Right click, inspect, then we are choosing the console option. There only we can also see the errors of TypeScript. Is it clear? But in HTML point of view, we don't get any errors. Next one here, mark you is one tag which I am using here. Now mark you. What is mark you? Yeah, mark you we are using to display the scrolling uh, content on the web page. For example, welcome to all I have given. Inside the mark you, if I refresh, you can see in this place welcome to oh, that message is coming here. Yes, so this message is moving from one position, one uh, end to another end towards left direction. Now, if you want to change the directions, so you can change, and you want to increase or decrease the mark you speed, we can increase and decrease. By default, the speed is 8 pixels. So one property I am using nothing but attribute. Scroll amount is equal to 40. Now what the meaning of this? So the speed is increased to 40 pixels like this. In case scroll amount is equal to 4, I have given. So it is moving so that 4 pixels for every regular intervals of time. Is it clear? So if I give 100, so it is more faster. Now here, the direction is one property. Direction is equal to left, that the default value already which we are seeing here, means it is moving towards left. In case if I give direction is equal to right, then towards right direction. Down down but uh, the height is less of this molecule so i'm using style you don't know styles i guess i will discuss with the styles also after some classes okay i'm increasing the height of this molecule by using style so don't worry about this style if you don't know i will explain the styles also because in angular we are using ng class okay ng style that time we are discussing some css properties so anyhow i have given 100 pixels that's why it is expanded and it is moving like that so let me decrease the speed of this the default value is something around 8 pixels i can see it is moving towards down direction so if i give up here it is moving towards up direction Is this clear? What the default direction we have? Left. Okay. Now here behavior is equal to alternate I'm using. Alternate. What is this? It displays the text content in alternate two directions. Okay. 
okay alternate so now here this is mark you and image these two elements we have discussed inside this mark you can also place the image control then it will move that image like that now i am the source is equal to something like apple dot jpg and width is equal to 40 pixels that will be like that image is moving from one direction to another direction like that. okay in ircdc.com website if you observe some scrolling information is available so like that in many websites some scrolling content is available that is nothing but more you they are using in that point of is it clear so now okay fine we discussed about image and more you like that we need to discuss some input controls also before that the main concept is how many types of controls we have in HTML. So in our Angular application, you want to create the login or registration, okay? These type of concepts you want to implement. So in that point of view, so first we should have complete clarity about the types of controls. How many types of controls we have, that clarity is very, very important. Yes. Can anyone tell me how many types of controls we have? Basically, HTML controls are elements. Anything we can use here. HTML elements are two types. What the first one? Container. Second one. Non. Container. Like the is two types. First one. And second one is non container. Yes. So what is container and what is non-container? Yes. And again, container divides divide into two types. Okay. So what are these types? And uh, in interview commonly, they're asking some questions like, what the difference between div tag and span tag? Yes. What is inline element? What is block level element? Okay. So like there's some concepts are there. So related to this concept, they're asking some questions. That's why we need to cover this part here. So that topic I will discuss later. Before that, any doubts, any questions we have, you can ask me this. So till now we discussed the basics of HTML. So one more session is required for this. Okay. So after that, I will start TypeScript concepts here. Okay. Once TypeScript is completed, then I will start angular concepts but anyhow html point of view some main things are there those are very important if you don't have idea then you can't do any angular program that's why i'm discussing this the required html concepts okay yes so now any more doubts any questions you have you can ask so till now this is clear. Pradeep, Ramesh, Vinay. Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. See, uh, I didn't give, uh, submit any notes to you. Actually, we are providing the notes, material, everything. Once the link change, okay, from demo to payment, but it will take one or two more sessions to change the link. Meanwhile, you want to read the content, practice these programs, okay? Not programs, program is not yet started. So you want to get some clarity about the discussed concepts. So further reference is required now. So that's why that notes I'm pasting in the chat window. Now here, in the chat window, I'm sending you the messages.
So I guess you got one message. So I am sending a three message because this chart is supporting limited characters only, not more characters. So copy that message. So these are overview points, okay? Not detail notes. So just I have given C if you observe my screen, JavaScript, Netscape Corporation. So I did not mention like complete statement. It is implemented by development Netscape Corporation like that. You can understand that's why I written like that. In detail notes which I am submitting to you, their pin-to-pin point is available. That's not issue. Okay. Meanwhile, for reference, you can use this. This message. Okay. So, are you able to copy these messages or not? Yeah, yeah, copy. One more message I'm sending to you. send you the messages, okay? just go through this reference file and in next class we will cover that content on contents and other HTML controls which are required. So, and after that I will start the type concepts, okay? Initial starting uh, four to five, after demo link, we are spending around 50 minutes, okay? After that one hour, time duration so our timing is eight to nine every day right yeah so any questions you have you can ask me fine no queries i guess see you next class you can leave now they want to make me better thank you yeah you can leave Live is better. Play, I'm going to play. 